For the next two mixed review problems, we're going to take a look at dividing. Now, I realize on your sheet it's a lot easier to understand. Sorry. Um, but it, you really should have no troubles with this first one, number nine. Because, think about it, you have 3r squared over 5x, and you're dividing it by 15rx. Well, when you divide, you just take the reciprocal of the second term and multiply, right? So really, this is the same thing as saying times 1 over 15rx. So let's reduce before we do any sort of multiplying. So, well, 3 and 15 both share a factor of 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Well, r and r squared share a factor, a factor of r. So r divided by r is 1. r squared divided by r is just plain r. And so now we can multiply these things together. r times 1 is just r. 5x times 5x is 25x. Not too bad. So, um, on this next one, this one's a little trickier, but not difficult. <coughs> we have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3, and that's all over x plus 3. Now, I can do x plus 3 because adding is uh, in the, uh, using the community, it has the commutative property attached to it, which means that order does not matter, just like multiplying. So, here's the thing. If I give you a problem like this, what do you think you're going to have to do? You're going to have to factor it, right? And I see that I have x plus 3 in the denominator. That means I'm going to probably, most likely, have an x plus 3 as a factor of that. So let's try it out. So we have x plus 3. And let's assume we have x plus 3 in the numerator. So if that's the case, x times something has to equal 2x squared. Well, what times x is 2x squared? 2x, because x times x is x squared. So let's look at the back term. 3 times something is going to equal negative 3. Well, that's negative 1. And now let's check the middle term. Negative 1 times x is negative 1x. 2x times 3 is 6x. Add those together and you get 5x, which is your middle term here. So in some ways, this problem is even easier than factoring because it gives you a hint in the denominator. Well, what is x plus 3 divided by x plus 3? That's just 1 now, isn't it? Anything divided by itself is 1. So that means I'm just left with 2x minus 1. That's it.